Howdy folks, it's Tall Turtle and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator and today we're going to conclude the Danube Journey bush trip. We have the penultimate and final legs left to do and um, look at where we get to land next. Yikes. Alrighty, first thing we do is hop outside and see where they put us. Um, are we next to the runway? Oh no, we're on the 27 left, so this is something else. Okay, whatever. Plenty of room. But let's just enjoy the scenery for a minute. Let's spin to the right. We always spin to the left, so let's go to the right today. Budapest, back to the Danube River. Um, just in case the some of you haven't seen the first two videos, but why would you be watching this video <laughs> if you weren't watching the first two? Unless you're looking for something specific. But anyway, there's a Danube over in the distance. I presume we'll be heading back to that, or maybe not. Maybe we'll be going somewhere else. Alrighty, let's, um, turn lighting lights on. Alrighty, let's get some stuff set up here because it changed everything on us. Whoops, wrong one. Click there, go more, turn the weather back on because we've been having some crazy nasty wind and it's been fun. All the other bus trips except for the Patagonia one have been pretty easy. This one has been quite challenging. It's making me pull out everything I know about flying a plane and I love it so much. Alrighty, let's see here. Do 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 we still have GPS again? We have GPS again. Why are they so nice to us? Anyway, where are we headed? Um Bravo Lima. But before we read about that I wanna check out the VFR map and see if we're going over any mountains. Um okay we're gonna leave the river and go to a big old lake. Okay, so no mountains to worry about. So let's do twenty one hundred Again, that's been a great cruise altitude. And flight director, nav. Let's see if nav works this time. Because <laughs> last time it broke. So actually, let's get the uh, penny bug set up. Ooh, my mouse is working today. Remember the first two videos, the first four legs? My mouse only responded like every 10 clicks. And now it's working. Alright, let's line that up 191 for both. And by 191, I'm looking, whoops, here and here. Um, that way, if autopilot doesn't or nav doesn't respond with autopilot, we have any bug. Then we do vertical speed. Oh my gosh, this is so nice when everything works. You take it for granted when stuff works, don't you? I remember having my very first car, and something broke on it. And once I got it fixed, it was like the best thing in the world that my car actually worked. Um, I wonder what that one does. I know what this one does on the inside, but... Okay, dokie, okay, we're all set up to go. Now we're going to read um, where we're going. Take off from the airport, set heading to the west-southwest, and merge with the pass of the Danube. Sight the city of Zahalambada, Zahalambada, which lies on the western bank of the river. Location traces historic roots to the Neolith Neolithic Age. You can read about this by pausing the video. I'm not going to read it all, I'll lose my voice, more than I already have. You can hear my voice getting sore from doing this bush trip straight through late at night. I'm trying to be quiet because it's getting very late and people are sleeping. All right, anyway, um, we can read about that. Um, shows us what we're looking for in this big city. That's only four minutes out, so we'll keep reading here. Turn over the city and gain a visual on Lake Valence in the distance. It's the third largest natural lake in Hungary and it's very shallow becomes warm, making a popular tourist destination. Maintain a course, keep flying, read about that as you will as well. Alrighty, um, and then we'll read about the big lake when we get to the big lake, and so on. This is the longest lake of the trip, but not for you, because um, as you know, by the other three or four hundred videos we've had of bush trips, <laughs> that I do sightseeing but I cut it down so you don't have to watch every minute of every trip but you don't miss anything either so consumable for you hopefully entertaining I guess it must be if you keep watching flaps coming up brakes stop the wheels and um, fun for me so there we go let's get back over the city big parking lot there and um, we'll be on your way Alrighty, let's see. We'll hand fly out of here just for a minute, then we'll get autopilot. Autopilot is helpful because then I can do some sightseeing with you. 
and make an interesting video. And then the GPS is just because it's a tool that we have available to us. Let's use autopilot and see if it works. Um, yeah, GPS is just a tool we can use, right? Look at this wind, it's ridiculous. Look at those 18 knot gusts. Goodness gracious. Nope, autopilot is confused. Heading bug it is. We'll do heading bug until autopilot switches to the next thing. And then, it, oh no, now it's... Oh no, it just did that crazy S-curve because I wanted to... Um, no, I don't know what I was thinking. But we'll just heading bug until auto or until GPS switches and then we'll, um, in four minutes. And then we'll try nav again. It gets confused. Anyway. Anywho, let's have a look around while we can, and then we'll go right into sightseeing. We've done plenty of talking in the first two videos, the first four legs. Um, and I just noticed the weather cleared up. Remember, it was rainy and stuff for a long time. But for this leg, it's clear. Hello, traffic. But, that being said, it's still windy as I'll get out. Alright, let's see if we can get a nice screenshot just in case we get to take one later. Of the beautiful area. Get some Danny in there for this one. None of these are very good. Anyway, you all know the drill. I assume this isn't your first rodeo. So, get you some sightseeing. And ooh, watch that speed or we're going to crash the airplane. And I'll see you in a couple minutes. And no, I won't. Yes, I will. For you to be a couple minutes, for me to be a long time. But I'll see you at that big old lake. Well, GPS finally started working, so we're back on nav for the autopilot. Since we're about seven minutes away, six and a half minutes away from the lake out there. And um, I had to bring my speed back because with the gusts and everything, we were bumping the red line, which would have triggered a crash in the sim. And we don't want to do that. So let's see here. Let's read about what is next as we approach the lake. Um, lake... Baliton, Baliton, adjust course slightly over the city, which we're doing right about now, right up here. And then, um, stay parallel to the motorway, gain a visual on the lake, which is in front of us. Fly to its northern extremity, which is right here. No, that's the other side, northern. No, that's here. And then, um, 48 miles long, longest, or lots third, wait. Largest lake in Central Europe. I thought it was the third. Wait a second. I thought it said something about Lake. Oh, Lake Valence is the third. Long what? Lake what? Hang on. 
but but this is the big lake like Val what's valence all about I'll look it up on Google later. I'm confused about whatever. <laughs> the lake which is fed by the river. Yes, I'm confused. Um, I'll have to look up Lake Valence on Google Maps and see. Because this is Lake Valence in the distance. It's the third largest lake and very shallow. But then this is Lake Balaton, which is 48 miles long. Unless I'm getting my lakes confused. Hang on. Maybe I'm ahead of myself here. First of all, what are you doing? Oh, never mind. I'm ahead of myself. That's why. That happens sometimes. This is the third largest lake <laughs> with the two islands in it. And then we're going to head towards Lake Balaton, which is off camera or off camera. It's off. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I am not paying attention to myself. So we're not where I thought we were. We are um, somewhere else. That's why I said 10 minutes on the timer or 7 minutes on the timer. Okay, so anyway, enjoy these islands since I'm already talking to you. And you all know how much I love islands. I'm not going to get into that again, but you all know how much I love islands. There's mountains and some city. Okay, so we're going to go over this and then we're going to head towards Lake Balaton or Balaton. Might as well read about it since I already started to. 40 miles long. It's fed by the Zala River. Process of geologic subsidence where a block of earth called a graben sinks relative to the peripheral blocks of earth. Like Minecraft, today it's a popular skinny dipping destination and features a number of resorts on its shores. Alrighty, um, yeah, okay. Let's fly over the fly to and over the big lake. And once we do, We'll read about this cool peninsula and then the airport. So I'll see you in a little bit. Sorry for the clumsy interruption, but it wouldn't be a turtle video if it weren't. So I'll see you in a little bit. There we go. Now we're looking at the right lake. That's 48 miles long. <laughs> we're still three minutes out, it says, and I am keeping an eye on my speed. It's been bouncing around, making me kind of nervous, but um, yeah, I'm just being careful there. So as we approach this big old lake, which we will get plenty of sightseeing over, let's read about the rest of our trip here. So we're going to go to the midsection of the lake to reach the Tihani Peninsula, which extends into the lake from its northern shore. In 1954, much of the peninsula was designated as Hungary's first natural protected region due to its unique geology and biodiversity. The Pennsylvania, the peninsula, sometimes called the Pearl of Lake Bataan, compromises volcanic features and in two inland basins right there, right? Boom, boom. One a lake and another a marshland with small ponds. The peninsula is also known for its vineyards, orchards, and remote beaches. Today, the peninsula is part of the Balaton Uplands National Park, established in 1997 to protect the northern shore of Lake Balaton. Alrighty, so we'll look for a peninsula with two lakes. Well, one's a lake, one's a marshland with ponds. 
And then after that, we'll look for the airport, which is going to be a bummer to find. At least it's along some trees and some farmland, perhaps. Hopefully, um, we can land in this direction in favor of the wind, or else we'll come across the farmland, maybe. Adjust course slightly to the south and aim toward the southern shoreline of the lake. Yeah, is that the lake back there? I think that's the lake back there. Gain a visual on the resort town of Balaton Baoglar. And that place, airport, is a grass airstrip just to troll us, orientated north northwest, south southeast. About to see how the wind is when we get there. Lies to the south of the town, directly south of the motorway. So there's the motorway there, and there's the lake. There's the town. Or there, yeah, there's it. Yeah, that's all town. And then trees. Yikesies. Maybe this one will actually look like the reference image. Alrighty, so we're going to look for the peninsula, which is probably right here. <laughs> and then we'll head towards the airport, which is, what was it? I can't remember. What did it say? Bravo Lima, so it's out there a ways. Probably not going to show up like this. Nope. There we go. There's the lake and the marshlands. Okie dokie. So I'll see you in quite a while, right? We're going to go to the peninsula. Got to get to the other side of the lake. I mean, quite a while for me. Edited it down for you. It's going to be quick because, you know, I edited it down for you. So see you in a moment. Maybe two minutes on this one. We'll see how much I've seen. I'll leave it after editing. Enjoy the peninsula and the town, and we'll look for the airport together. See you in a little bit. Alright, so somewhere up there is an airport. Says so we're pointing directly at it. We'll see how this goes. I'm a little bit nervous. Um, I mean, I feel like I am justified <laughs> in feeling nervous. Um, okay, so there's some water there, and it's just to the right of that. So there's the water, it's just to the right of that. So it's somewhere in there. Okie dokie. I would kill autopilot, slow us down once we get to this big thing of water because we can slow down very quickly. And it's a little further away than it looks, so let's just look outside together as I get comfortable in my chair and make sure my yoke isn't going to fly off again as it has been because my kids change it over for racing. And then I go to land in tricky conditions and my yoke flies off. And there's a peninsula. Oh, it's kind of hilly too. That's so beautiful. Imagine being on top of that hill and then looking at the lake. Wow. Amazing. However, all that being said, as much as I like islands and all this water, my favorite place is a rustic cabin in the woods in northern Minnesota with a lake nearby surrounded by trees. And um, that's my favorite thing. Although, I'm scared of animals, so as soon as it gets dusk, I stay inside and hide. <laughs> but I do keep all the shades open or else I feel claustrophobic. So that's why I would prefer. Alrighty, um, there, okay, let's see. What do we got here? Is that the runway? No, we might have to do a flyover. Um, although, we're looking pretty good on wind. 
Um, I just need to find it. So, zoom in one more time. Maybe not. Let's turn off autopilot. Oh, and I gotta reset everything because it all. Let's, nope, nope, nope. Let me down. Let me down. Yoke work. And this airplane, for some reason, when you turn off autopilot, the trim or something is all screwed up. Even though it's always in the middle. There's that trim. Pass me. Anyway, it's always screwed up when you turn off autopilot and this airplane, for some reason, down. Down. My yoke is doing nothing. My yoke goes side to side. My yoke goes back, but my yoke doesn't do anything going forward. Come on. Thank you. It's crazy. I don't know what's going on. Um, it says we're headed right for this thing. I don't know. There's the motorway. There's some trees. Is this the runway right here? That could be it. That could be it. Let's rely on the GPS like usual. And we'll just fly on in. Look outside one last time. Just amazing. But anywho. Yeah, so I would like to go to a cabin. That has to be the runway. Look at So let's prepare. Actually, no. Which way do we want to go because of the wind? Okay, so this is into the wind now. So we're going to be completely perpendicular with an 11 knot wind? Are you serious? If that's even the airport, it has to be. Well, hopefully we don't crash this one too. If we do, we'll have to come and land perpendicular in the field and then taxi back to the airport. Because that's a crazy wind to try to stop in. We all saw what happened before. We landed and everything, but then the wind catches your wing as you're rolling out and it flips you over. Oh man. This is cray cray. I mean, I assume that's the airport? Not necessarily though. It doesn't look like the reference image at all. Um, I mean, that looks nothing like the reference image, unless the reference image is nearby. Maybe that's the airport there. Oh yeah, right there. Okay, I get it. Let's try something. Let's see what, I'm gonna do something here. We're gonna have a peek at what the wind looks like as we get over here. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'll land in the field and taxi to the airport. Because look at this, if we land, we're gonna have a tailwind, I've turned around. It's only six knots, but it's perpendicular. And the problem is if we land from the other direction, we gotta clear those trees and come down in a hurry. And that's not good. So, I mean, if I'm even looking at the right place, I might not be looking at the right, oh, no, oh, there it is, oh. Well, that's a bummer. How are you supposed to land on that? It's right here, behind us. With this wind, are you serious? You can't be serious. We're supposed to land on that with this wind? <laughs> what? What? Maybe, maybe, oh my gosh, this is crazy. I love this so much. This is definitely the most challenging bush trip because of the wind. Patagonia had mountains and wind, so that was challenging in terms of getting altitude and stuff and finding the runways. But with this wind, this is almost as challenging as the Patagonia one, if not as challenging, because I did not crash on the Patagonia trip. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to give this a shot here. Okay, now the wind is... Is it going to be a tailwind? Slight tailwind now? I don't know. Can't tell. But we'll do the little trick again where we pull in flaps as we touch down. And then... Um, where are we here? We'll pull in flaps as we touch down and push the nose wheel down, which you don't do in real life. You want to keep the weight off the nose wheel in real life, but... Because this wind is flipping us over, I'm going to put the nose wheel into the ground and keep it there. Um, so we'll see. Really, we're going to clear these trees. 
uh-huh. We're gonna clear the trees and land on that thing? I mean, I guess it's possible, maybe? Oh my gosh, this is insane. This is insane. I gotta keep an eye on our speed while we clear these trees, because we're just about to stall. All right, here we go. Keep an eye on that tree on the right corner of the nose. Here we go. Clear the trees. Come down, but we gain speed. Really? Well, it's not that bad with the wind. We just gotta stop in time. Can we stop in time? Oh, we will. Oh my gosh. That was a fantastic landing. What? How did we do that? That was crazy with the tailwind too. No, it's not going to count it. What? How does it not count that? I landed exactly where they told me to. Look at. Look at this. Right? Look at that. Oh, look at. There's the runway right there. There to there. You've got to be kidding me. Whoa. Don't screw up my views here. There you go. Okay, hopefully the wind doesn't blow us over. Are you serious right now? We have to land on the like 15 feet of runway, which in some planes would work, sure. Sure it would. But um, that's crazy. That's just wild. Alrighty. Now we should be good as soon as we stop in this area. Holy cow. Alrighty, come on. There we go. Now we can stop. Now it should work. There it is. All right, final, final lap. Final leg, here we go. We have been refueled. We will taxi behind us to get out of here. Let's um, zoom this back out. There we go. And for the final leg, where are we going? We are going to... Lima Hotel Papa Papa. Yes, we are. Okay. Um, let's see here. We'll do two flap to get out of here. We'll back taxi. Repair and refuel has been done. And we'll set up autopilot based on any terrain we might have for the final leg. Um, oh, there is, ooh, there is some terrain. Look at this. Ooh. And then we nosedive to land at how much altitude here? Elevation, I mean. I love 636, but getting there. And we are, we'll go right over the top of those hills. So let's give ourselves, let's make a 4,000 feet for this one. Let's do 4,000 feet, and then we'll come down if it's too high. Barometers, ooh, look at that weather. Okay, um, yeah, we'll do flight director. We'll see if nav works off the bat or if we have to play with it a little bit using heading bug get it ready just in case Alrighty, and vertical speed and my mouse isn't working again it was working for that last leg why does it only work for one leg and then it gets crazy for the others there we go good enough okay good enough for me before we taxi we're going to take to this, or after we tax, we're going to take to the sky and set a course to the southeast. We're going to gain a visual on Road 67 in the village of Smorgor. The village lies in one of the most sparsely populated regions in the country of Hungary. The county lies in a large region called the Southern Transdanubia. Okay, Danube River again. Okay, so we're going to fly to a village only two minutes out. We're going to follow the road to another village. So we got two villages. Let's keep going here. And then we're going to go to the west and go keep going along Road 67. There's a long, narrow lake called Lake Decida. The lake was formed in 1975 by a dam. And then we're going to fly over the lake to reach the city, the capital of the county. The city lies at the base of a number of small hills to its south, which we're going to fly over. And then the Celtic tribes inhabited the land. All right, so two villages in a city. And then we'll read about the rest of it after we get to the city. So two villages in the city. Pretty straightforward. 
Uh, which way do you want to go? I'm going to back taxi because of the wind. Not a whole lot of wind. Oh, uh, parking brake is on. Not a whole lot of wind, but enough to cause us trouble. So let's back taxi not too quickly here. At least the wind isn't going to blow us over. Looks like sunset for this leg. You can see the sun coming down. And the time is... Yeah, 7 o'clock. So, um, sunset flight, which will be fun. And then, um, hopefully the weather will be nicer. We'll see. And then we'll finish up this Danube Journey bus trip, which is surprisingly difficult, which I'm enjoying very, very much. And, um, yeah, then we'll see what's next. And I'll try to sneak in the other three bus trips if I can before my heart surgery, which I talked about in my update video, which most of you have probably seen a while back now. Fix to stop the wheels, getting over the trees, barely, and now flaps coming in, and we're off. Just like that. Let's get autopilot now and see what happens. I'm just curious if it'll get us on the purple line just fine or what's it's going to do because it's going to want to go a little past it and come back and it's going way too far so let's do heading bug instead there we go and then when it switches to the next purple line then we'll whoa then we will <laughs> go back to nav holy cow i could have done a better job than that Jeez. anyway let's look out the window why are you going 2,000 feet? What? No. Did you see that? It was going 2,000 feet per minute, even though it's set to 1,100 feet per minute, and bugged 1,100 feet per minute. What is going on with this machine? Let's just hand fly out here for a minute, because that was not cool. And I cannot nose down again, because of the autopilot thing. Nose down, please. My yoke is all the way forward. My throttle is only halfway out. Goodness gracious. What a disaster. Let's try to pilot again. Please. 1,100 feet per minute, please. Nope, it's climbing all the way up for some reason. Why? 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 Now it won't nose down. Nose down. My yoke won't go down. This thing is nuts. This thing is insane. I just wanted to use autopilot so I could look out the window. I'm going to have to go like this. I don't want to hand fly this. This is too exhausting with this wind. Way too exhausting to hand fly this with this wind. Oh boy. Anyway, I'm going to follow the purple line by hand for a minute here. Let's reset up autopilot, let's see what happens. So we're going to do flight director. Let's do heading bug for right now. Vertical speed 1100. Engage autopilot. Okay, there's 1100. Now it's working. Now it's working. No, it isn't. <laughs> nose down it won't nose down when I turn off autopilot please nose down oh my gosh I have to kill throttle to nose down shouldn't have to okay looks like we're hand fly for a while how long is this leg half an hour that's going to be exhausting to hand fly this for half an hour in this wind oh it's only nine knots but it feels like it's a hurricane um I don't know Bring my props a little bit. I'll try out a pilot again in a minute. I guess what I could do... Let's slow down a second. What do we need to turn now? Let's do flight director. Heading bug. Let's get heading bug lined up. To 165. I said slow down, please. 165 for heading. Close enough. 164. Close enough. Let's do... Autopilot. IS hold. Give it full throttle and see how it climbs. No, no, it's supposed to stay at. Oh my gosh. Come on. Why won't this cooperate with me? I really don't want to hand fly this thing. What am I doing wrong? I've been doing autopilot for hundreds of flights. Flight director? We're going to use heading bug. What if I just do autopilot on that? And not worry about. Okay, now it's. What? Why are you nosing, nosing down? Okay, let's do. 
Well, let's climb to 4100, then we'll just hit the alt button, I guess. Let's try it that way. It's holding heading bug, so that's cool. It's just not cooperating for vertical speed. So let's do this. Let's just let it climb using trim. And then when it gets to 4100, I'll hit alt. Okay, now we gotta bring back throttle because it's climbing too fast. No, it doesn't. If I bring back throttle, it just gets too slow, but it keeps that VS. No, now the VS is coming down. Oh, alt is already hit. Wait, it's doing alt on its own. Oh, because I engaged autopilot. Gotcha. When I hit autopilot, it chose alt for me. Okay, let's keep it at this. Let's see what throttle does now. And we'll use heading bug here to get back on our line. Because, you know, heading versus, heading versus tracking, that whole thing. Okay, it's going to stop at 4100. Okay. So it automatically chose the alt when I engage autopilot, which is not how it normally works. I've used this autopilot hundreds of times. Very strange. And um, something is going on with the speed because it can't get more speed, which is fine. Because we are higher than we have been the other legs. And I think we're okay enough. Goodness, are we missing? We missed one village, right? Because it already turned us. Whoa. Come on, let's do this right. Camera here. Um, free drone. Thank you. Okay. Oh, is it working? Okay, cool. So we had a village back here somewhere. I don't know where it was. We missed it, unfortunately. Um, but we have another village in a moment. And the sun is about to go down, so we don't want to waste any time. So village, desolate area, which we are now. And then village. And then we'll look for a city together. Um, I think we're in control. Let's bring back heading bug a little bit. There we go. Let's just line it up with the purple line. And then hopefully we'll stay on track. Um, can I do nav now, do you think? Okay, it's holding on nav. Okay, now we can do nav. It shows its own altitude. I mean, it shows its own setting based on this. Would not do vertical speed or IS, but it did find its altitude. Whatever. Um, we'll just keep going as we're going here, and I'll see you when we get to that town or that city before our further instructions in a little bit. All right, there's our city under nose. So we'll look at that from the outside in a moment. But let's read about what's coming up next after the town. Uh, there's the town. So what's next? From there, follow the river to the east to the village of Santos. So there's another tiny little village we'll look for. And that's really close. So after that um, is another town, Gurdar, Route 66. Cool. So a little town, another little town, which is close by. And then, um, I guess we'll read about this place. Continue on the southeast heading, following the route. Well, the road remains south of the town, and then slight sight the village of Oroslo. For visual reference, Road 66 passes through the town, north-south pathway. The region is filled with pastoral vistas of hills and across the field. So the city below us, and then two villages villages two villages and the third village that looks like long snake we'll come back together and read about more stuff so hey no more airport so let's look at this town together underneath us since we're here there it is oh, it's fantastic um we'll look at it in a second through the window and then there will be two villages and then the third village i'll join you again we'll keep reading um I'm just thinking here what else we could look at. There's that big 48 mile lake behind us still. Um, beautiful, beautiful sunset. There's a village or the town. More than a village. We're going to see villages. Anywho, hopefully it's going so far, so well, so far for you. It is for me. And I will see you at the third village that looks like a snake. See you in a moment.
Alrighty, we have the town up in front of us, and then we gotta head to the right to that lake over here, and I know that because if we pull up the right thing, <laughs> there's the lake, and then down there's the airport, so, oh gosh, what? Wait a second. Why, um, what? What is going on here? No, I don't want to crash. I don't want to crash. It's going so well. What on earth is going on with the autopilot? No, no, no. Give me control of my aircraft, please. Give me control of my aircraft, please. I have no control. Come on. What the heck of all hacks is going on? Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm glad that got recorded. <laughs> I don't understand what is going on. Well, let's read about stuff. <laughs> let's get towards our airport here as quickly as possible. We left off somewhere around here. We read about that place. So next, we're going to turn and fly over the lake, which is over here. Um, you can read about that. I'm kind of panicking here. Let's get our speed back, though. I don't want this to take forever. Trim the heck down, please. Oh, my gosh, my trim down is almost maxed out. Ugh. And then there's that lake there, right? I think. Maybe not. I don't know. Whatever. We're just going to follow the purple line. And then we're going to change heading and sight the city of Bex, located on the southern periphery of the mountain range, which is on the other side of the mountains. Um, we're not overspeeding, are we? So on the other side of those mountains, right? There's a big city somewhere. Hasn't rendered in yet. Then after that, the sun is going to set. We're going to look for the airport. Um... Bring this exploration to a close. Okay. We are back to hand flying, which is fine. It just makes it more difficult to um, make a video, but that's okay. And um, what else about hand flying? It's exhausting in this, these conditions, but it's okay because we're almost done. So bring my props a little bit, bring my throttle a little bit, nose up a little bit, look outside, enjoy the scenery together. Um, yeah, beautiful. <laughs> We're headed over the mountains. So I think your altitude selection was pretty good. Um, bring back props more. There we go. And the airport should come into view right there by the PP. Alrighty, um, I can use this outside. I guess I can use the drone. And that's what we do. You set up the drone the way you want it. Like this. And then you hit C. Which is your camera key. And then you can control your aircraft again. And then when you're done, you hit C, so you can control the camera again. But then, you can't see your six-pack out here. You can. So you know how you're flying with your speed and everything. So that's okay, I guess. Um, look at that beautiful scenery. Ignore the HUD. I did not turn off the HUD in push strips, but that doesn't matter, because you can use the camera. So, or the drone. And so control your craft. What the heck is going on here? My goodness, this thing is all over the place. What a mess. But there's the route going along the... Or ending up at the river dam lake thing. There's a dock there. That's cool. Um, I'm going to go through these hills. Let's climb a little bit. I've lost a lot of altitude. Look, yeah, we're down. Almost, whoops, almost half the altitude I want it to be. So my initial guess for altitude is perfect. Alrighty, whoop, climbing up, climbing up. Here we go. Do do do. Oh look at big tower in the city, and we land on our GPS. Um, so right now we have a crosswind tailwind, so we might come around to the other side, just depending on what the wind is like on the other side of these hills. That's really beautiful. That house compound thing there. I wonder who lives there. Looks really cool though. Um, how are we doing on speed? We're good. We're climbing. I went back to where he wanted to, and there is the city. All right, let's bring back the throttles a little bit. Nose down a little bit. Keep our speed up. While we go between the range, or between the mountains here. It's all the same range, but... Okay, when I hand fly, I get wordy, and I talk a lot. Let's see if I can not talk so much this time. All right. 
right? As pretty as it is. Oh, look at that tower. That's cool. As pretty as it is. Oh, and like a castle. <laughs> we do need to come down and try to find this airport to land. According to this, we should be looking right down the runway, but... Um, I don't see it. Also, with this wind, we have to come around from the other way. Unless it changes over the hill, but... Um, I don't see any airport in front of me. Maybe it has a render, and maybe I'm blind, or maybe we're almost over it? No, I don't see anything. This town is beautiful, though, the city. Look at this. Oh, I love this. This is amazing. Oh, look at that. Okay. Anyway, we have to land an airplane. We have to find the airport. It looks kind of airporty over here. Well, there it is right there in front of us. Okay, I see it, um, but with this wind, I mean, it's a crosswind slightly from behind. Let's come from the other direction, just so the six knots are in front of us. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to think, think of what we could do. Nothing. We're just going to fly and not crash. How about that? Oh my gosh, this yoke wants to keep popping all the way back and pop the, the nose up. Alright, final looks of the town. On that side. And that side. I guess the town is behind us at this point. Um, I was looking at those roads out there. Okie dokie. Alrighty, let's pay attention so we don't overspeed. Let's stop losing altitude. And it's getting windier because of the ground turbulence, probably. And up, 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 up. Let's not get too low. It'll be hard to see the runway from the other side. Now it won't climb? Why won't it climb now? I have to nose way back. Weird. What is going on with this airplane? Okie dokie. Let's um, start making our U-turn around here, I think. Yeah, let's make a U-turn now. Let's get really slow, though, so that we can still land with our short final we're giving ourselves here. And then it'll conclude the Danube journey bus trip. And like I said, I would like to try to sneak in the other three bus trips before my heart surgery. Um, my heart surgery is a little, going to be scheduled a little later than we anticipated. So my update video was a little premature, but um, it still holds true. It's just I have a little bit more time now before I disappear for a few months. And then we'll probably have several more bus trips to catch up on when I'm back as well as some Formula 1 track to catch up on. And, um, anyway, first things first is to end this one. And here we go, a little bit across from the left. Oh, now it's a tailwind again. There's a tailwind from both directions. I give up. What is going to land? <laughs> Don't get too low, you lose sight of the runway. Come on, you want to keep it pitched just perfectly. Why is it acting like the craziest crosswind ever when it isn't? Let's go full flap. Oh boy, sink like a rock. Yep. Sometimes you float with flaps. Usually you float with flaps. But on this airplane, you sink. Look at that. Okay, left wing down right rudder. And then a little bit of a tailwind, which is not cool. But it would have been a tailwind from the other way. It changed direction on us or something. Okay, here we go. We're going way too fast. Let's just ride it out. Please ride it out. Ground effects already that high really there we go there's a ground effect oh boy that's too fast but it could be okay the wind is blowing this way to the right nope don't crash flaps in keep that nose wheel down there we go oh boy the wind is trying to trying to roll us i've got rudder and air neon just perfect to look like we're not going to roll over um can we stop without rolling over please oh my gosh that was so scary it looked fine but that was Gary's as I'll get out. Alrighty, um, that's it. Don't know the total time because they don't give you the total time anymore in the last leg. So anyway, we finished. Hopefully you like to subscribe to see more. Hit the like button so people know we exist, all that stuff. And that's it for now. See you next time.